potential. And then, of course, if I get any of those new champions that I really want, I would love to pull them a second time. So without further ado, I've stalled long enough, mostly because I'm nervous. Um, uh, say chiss and T. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so I wasn't too far off, but I also wasn't correct either. So thank you for correcting me. Um, I always appreciate that kind of stuff. So I am going all in. I'm buying all nine right now. Zero hesitation. Like I said, there are just there are enough champs in here that uh, I, I'm fine with going for all nine. Um, there are enough champs in here that I'm missing or that I want to get the first awakening. So I thought about maybe doing a few, see how it goes, maybe save some shards. No, I'm all in. I am all in. Uh, Tom Higgins, hey Droid does good luck. I hope you get him. Thank you, sir. Big Sean, a thing awakening would be awesome. It really would. I mean, I've been teased on the six star so many times and I've never gotten him. Um, let's get the first one going in the spinner. What am I doing? Come on. Multitask. Droid does multitask. <laughs> um, the five star I've been teased so many times with the awakening. So I would be very happy with that. Um, human torch. Like I said, I'd love to get the five star awakened. You know, he's only rank four. I have the six star at rank two, but he's not awakened either. So I would take the five star to rank five. I usually use him in AQ. Um, and I save my six star for Alliance war attack if need be, but here we go. First one just stopped on its own. What's it going to be? We are starting with a Mephisto. He's already awakened. I do believe. Um, I know we literally just looked at my roster, but, uh, okay. Yeah. I thought I had awakened him one time and I did. So there we go. Um, I also mentioned the Supremes last night. We had a fun little thing with the Supremes. I already have both Sorcerer Supreme and Symbiote Supreme all the way maxed out. So if I got either of them, that would be a max Sig Crystal for each of them. It'd just be more five-star shards. So, you know, or six-star shards. So, again, not a top choice, but wouldn't be terrible either. Void is also max Sig, so that would be a max Sig Crystal. I tapped this one a little early. Let's see. Beardo is also max Sig. So that is going to be um, at least one max Sig Crystal to open at the end of this thing. Not a bad pull, but just not what I'm looking for, of course. Um, about to get a bunch of Science and Mystic ISO, obviously, from these. Um, since most of them will be dupes, so that is kind of cool as well. Um, I'm going to let this one spin out, and let me get caught up on the chat here. Uh, Rob Von Schu, welcome. Yo, good luck today, dude. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Chris has got his fingers crossed for me. Uh, Nicholas5573, good luck. I really hope you get some. Uh, BGT, thank you so much. Um, uh, uh, Bylaw is saying, I wanted my Void to be awakened, but unfortunately didn't get him. Well, hopefully you'll you'll get him soon. Of course, remember, these rotate on a three-day schedule, so you don't have to wait too, too long for the next crystal uh, that you're hoping for, that you're saving up for, which is really nice. Um, why aren't they Lime Grape on the reel? That is a very good question, Chris. I was waiting for someone to, to drop the Lime Grape reference. Um, Claire, of course. Oh, wow. That was a... A double trolling there, but that is a first awakening on Dormammu, so hooray. Um, really wanted that Claire, though. She keeps avoiding me. I, I don't know why. Um, yeah, that's a very good question, Chris. So so we were we came up with the, the real descriptor of these crystals. They are the Lime Grape Crystals. I love that they did change the graphic back on the Crystal menu screen sometime yesterday after they went live so that it's half green, half purple. I love that. I hope all the crystals are half and half now. But yeah, come on. Fix it here too, Kabam. So let's see. Crystal number four is now an awakening on Juggernaut. So I'm awakening all of these old champions. Hooray. <laughs> Somebody from Elisa's last year would be nice. Um, you know, if it had to be an awakening, how about awakening my man thing? Um, anyway, let's see. Let me get caught up. I'll let this one spin out a little bit. Uh, Nicholas is asking, do you like peanuts? I love peanuts. Peanuts are okay. Peanuts. Uh, I don't know. I don't really, I don't really, uh, you know, snack on them, but I'm glad you like them. <laughs> Um, Nav Deep is saying I opened one, got Guillotine. It's she's not a bad champion. I'm sure she wasn't who you were looking for, but she's not a terrible champion. Just ask Dan, Frontline MCOC. He just did an incursion stream yesterday with Rich. Where were you guys both using Guillotine? Were were only one of you using Guillotine? I missed the stream, unfortunately, Dan. I'm sorry. Um, 
All right, it just popped on its own. Crystal number five. Can we turn this around at all? Yes! Yes, yes, yes. All right, finally got one of the runner-ups, um, as Dan called it yesterday as well. But finally get a five-star clairvoyant. I'm very happy with that. It took five crystals, but finally got something good. Sweet. All right, let's keep this moving then. Let's hopefully... That, let, hope this means that it is a swing now towards some great luck. Some great luck, please. I'm okay with starting slow if it means we're going to end strong. Um, I'm going to let this one spin out a little bit more because I'm behind on chat again. Gaming Whale, if you got Doom, pop open the rest. I might do that. We'll see. Uh, Zyla, these, crest, these crystals were such a great addition to the game. I absolutely agree. Bill Al, got, or Bill Al excuse me, sorry. Um, got it. Like I said, I, I have no problem with people correcting me on pronunciations. I don't want to. I don't want to butcher names too badly. Um, and yes, especially since they're the same price, I, I love that they're only 10,000 five-star shards. Uh, but there are a lot of duds in the crystal, I agree, Nav Deep. But uh, yes, let's see. Crystal, what is this, number six? Speak of the devil and she shall appear. There's that guillotine um, who is already awakened. So that's just some more six-star shards and some more ISO. And that's about it. Um, the nice thing about this is, well, I mean, aside from Claire, they've all been dupes. So lots of uh, six-star shards are rolling in today, which is nice. i um, getting a little bit closer to the basic. Uh, yeah, so Claire, score, woohoo, nice, great pull, Droy. Definitely rank five contender, just catching up on the Claire chat. Uh, Nicholas, should I rank four Cap Infinity War or Aegon? They're both five-star and Awakened. That's tough, Nick. I mean, Aegon, of course, they're both great for, for lots of different types of content, but Aegon would be more if you're ready to jump into, like, Labyrinth of Legends, uh, the Abyss, etc., etc. If not, I would definitely pick, uh, there's a connection. I was waiting for the connection issue. I'm surprised it took this long. Um, good job, Caban, for waiting until seven crystals in, not counting the other crystals. But uh, there we go. I'm like, you can go away now. You can go away now. Crystal number seven. What do we got? A hood dupe. Already awakened, I believe. So, same deal. This, I'm going to have a bunch of... Have I gotten any... Uh, have I gotten any... I did get the one science. That's right. I got... Um, uh, Beardo, that's right. I'm like, who? what science champion did I pull? Yeah, I've only pulled one science out of seven crystals so far. That's very interesting. Anyway, let's keep this moving. Uh, um, so, yeah, I mean, both need high sig levels. Of course, they're Nick. Um, if you're going to go into Labyrinth Abyss, I would focus on Aegon. Otherwise, Beardo all the way. He's still one of my favorite champions in the entire game. Human Torch, you are not late at all. You are still seeing some crystal open, so no big deal there. Consolation prize for the win. And yes, I definitely want to check out that stream, Dan, if you guys are both using guillotine. I bet you went pretty deep in the incursion, so... Anyway, come on, two left, as Dan says. Come on, come on. What's up there, Whale Gamer? What's up, Jiho? Come on. Another connection issue. Crystal number eight. Need something spicy, and Rhino in between two centuries is literally the exact opposite of spicy. It's about as dull as it gets. God. So that's eight crystals now, and really only one decent pull. I mean, Beardo, of course, is a great pull, but he's already max sig. You know, Dormammu Awakening, okay, fine. Um, uh, I've heard, oh, Juggernaut Awakening, pfft. Anyway, crystal number nine, final crystal. Come on. Something better. This has been really bad so far. Dan, you were supposed to share your luck. I don't, don't know what's happening here. <laughs> uh, let's tap this one slightly early. Final crystal, crystal number nine. We are ending with a magic awakening. Okay, so at least I got an awakening that I wanted. Unlike the others, but I finally have a magic five-star awakened after however many years of playing this game. <laughs> Four plus. But yeah, this was kind of brutal, I'm not going to lie. This was not great overall. Um, yeah, that's not a tasty sandwich. Agreed. Yeah, what was it? Rhino in between two centuries is not a tasty sandwich at all. Uh, AP Waves is saying rip. Um, yeah, I really wish I could have ended stronger there, but yeah, just look at this. I, I'll do the double, uh, 
It's going to take two, of course, but let me do the double screenshot here. Of course, it won't include the, uh, the Beardo dupe. But yeah, I mean, really, I got three great pulls out of nine. One of them being Beardo, who was already Max Sig. And then Magic and Clairvoyant. So that's, that, that's it. That was uh, not great. That was really not great at all. Lots of old champions that uh, I was really hoping to avoid. But, of course, I didn't. I told you all I wasn't getting Doom. <laughs> I told you all it wasn't happening. So let's open up this one Maxig Crystal. <sighs> Any Awakening Gem would be a nice runner-up prize. Or if I could get the six-star in uh, Immortal Iron Fist, that would be a consolation trophy prize. But, yeah, let's just get this over with. Uh, yeah, six star shards, of course. So let me let me finish getting caught up on the chat here. Magic Awakening is pretty good. I I agree, Dan. I've been wanting her awakened for a long time. I thought about using a gem on her just to get it over with, but I didn't, uh, and so I'm glad I waited, of course. Um, but yeah, Turtle Flakes, unlucky overall, definitely. Uh, first time awakening her dupe is saving from death so many times. It's true. Like I said, Magic Awakened is definitely a lot better. Um. And that was one of the ones I was hoping for, just not as one of the most exciting pulls of the nine crystals today. I was kind of hoping it would be somewhere sandwiched in the middle there.